Have you recovered from um, having your goal taken away from you at West Ham yet? Yeah, I'm alright about it now. Uh, I've spoken to G and he's he's apologised actually. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He's obviously got some stuff put on his quiff to make his hair stand yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it must have just been good to, to have got back on the pitch because it's been a, a tough couple of months for you. It was. I mean, um, you know, I ended up missing um, maybe a month of of playing time, which you know I was I was disappointed with because. It was probably only a little sort of small injury that I had that, um, you know, didn't need to be out that long really. But um, you know, I was glad to get back and involved in you know an, an exciting ending of the game. Yeah, obviously the, the injury goes back to Chelsea. I mean, maybe you perhaps did you try and come back a little bit too quickly in hindsight. Well, yeah, it was actually a, it was a different injury. Actually, it was obviously involved in the same calf, but you know, it was probably all sort of, of linked. You know, I'd had a little sort of a strain against Chelsea and. You know, I was desperate to play Boxing Day um, against Arsenal, and then once once you play that <laughs> playing that game, you sort of you know, we had the next two games coming up, which were in quite quick succession, um, and we knew going into the game into those two games after that was going to be a real risk. But you know, it was a risk. A risk I was uh, willing to take, and you know, I could have got through it. I, I might, um, and I might not have, and. You know, unfortunately, I didn't, and you know that sort of uh, set me back a bit. It was a fairly feisty game to, to come back into the one at West Ham, and there was plenty happening right from the moment you came on the pitch. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, it was quite of um, you know quite a quick game. You know, obviously, when you're out for a while, you do sort of it takes you you know a while to sort of pick up the pace of the game, and it was quite you know sort of end the end end the end at that point, and you know Solomon had a chance. Then they had a chance, and then it was sort of, um, you know, it was, it was nice. It was sort of decided by, you know, getting the set piece at the end and, and, and being a part of that, which was which was nice. I mean, it was great as well that that goal went in right in front of the Albion supporters because I mean they did make a, a hell of a row during the game. It was it was a good atmosphere, and, and obviously, Premier League games we're not used to having the sort of the space around the side of the pitch, but there was still we were sitting on the bench and we were we were commenting on it, you know, on. Um, you know how good an atmosphere. Maybe it's it's not as sort of you know hostile because the fans aren't as close, but the noise levels are, are definitely just as good. From your point of view, is the the fact that we've had a, a two week break that been a good thing, or would you rather have just got on and, and got on with it now you're back? Personally, you know, it would have been nice to you know to kick on from that, um, but you know that's where the the medical staff and the the, the uh, sports science staff come in. You know, they want to make sure that we're all sort of ticking over and it's a fine balance between giving the lads enough rest and enough exercise, enough enough work um, to make sure that you're up to speed by the time we're going to Bournemouth. It's a big period coming up, three games at the next four at home and, and Bournemouth, the team, we haven't done that, that well against so far in the Premier League. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we we'll haven't played them a lot, you know, because they've only, only been promoted, um, I think this is their second, second season, so... You know, it was difficult last year. We ended up down the nine men. We had that game sort of difficult and obviously away. We got a draw away there, um, which we were sort of disappointed with in that game because we we'd, we'd, um, we'd played quite well that day. Um, but, you know, the home game at the start of the season, we hadn't played too well. And, you know, we'd be the first to hold our hands up and say that. So it's going it, to... It'd be difficult to know how this game's going to pan out. The manager, obviously, got a bit of history with Bournemouth. He's still lives down there, you know, he speaks very highly of the place, so um, no, I'm looking forward to it, you know, personally to be back involved as well. It's one of those, those awkward ones, isn't it, this one and, and Palace next week where I suppose fans are expecting six points given what we've done this season, but um, it's never that straightforward, is it? It's not, but you know, it's good to aim for that and it's good to expect that and that's what expectations are and we've, um, we've created that, we've created that buzz around the place and there's no reason why we shouldn't embrace that and, and you know set our set our standards higher. It's interesting you say that. I mean that, that that's a, a mind shift I think at the Albion. I think perhaps people like yourself and, and Darren having played at Manchester United, that's one of the things you've brought to the football club. I think that that kind of um, battling against expectations and, and wanting more and more. I think some, when you have expectations and you have you know a bit of pressure, it makes people play better and it makes you perform and. Um, you know, certainly I, you know, I feel like that. You know, whenever there's more at stake, you know, you you find a way of 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 trying to sort of to drive it out of yourself, and you know, your concentration levels go up, and you know, you're you're more involved in the game. 
and I think you know when you're when you're involved in the game, you know wh whether you win or lose or or that, you know, as long as you feel like you, you you've contributed and given everything, you know, s sometimes you know that's a good thing. Just finally, I mean, it's a, it's a tough team to, to work your way back into. I mean, they've done they've done pretty well over the last uh, last few weeks. The back four. Yeah, I mean, good results. So playing well. So yeah. You know, obviously I didn't play against West Ham. I didn't expect to come straight back into the side. You know, I hadn't trained much either. Um, you know, sort of only started training on the Thursday before the game. So I was just happy to sort of to be involved in the, in the match day and you know sort of get that feeling back.